when it's your friend, Think Noodles, and welcome back to Clash of Clans. And as you guys can see, I'm almost fully at TH6. I mean, or Town Hall 6. Uh, all I really need to do is upgrade my walls, and I've got uh, four reasons. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. First of all, I have a gem box. I have a free builder. I'm going to go open this baby up. Uh, someone was telling me uh, in the clan chat that the strangest thing happened. They said it never happened to them before, but it said 25 on the screen, but it gave them 50. Uh, I, I, you know, I, <laughs> I'm i sure that was a glitch or maybe they miss saw it, but I'm crossing my fingers that that might actually happen to me, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, so uh, we also have an achievement and we're going to get another one in this video. Um, I think, I mean, assuming that I do well on the raid. Okay. 25 as expected. So collect 800,000 gold in the clan war, which means we won. Well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean we won, but we did win. Let me show you guys. And uh, here it is 106 to 87. Uh, I got 348,000 gold and 348,000 elixir and 120 dark elixir, which I can't really do anything with. Um, let's see. So, I mean, I don't know what you guys really want to look at, look at or whatever. Um, in this, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's me. Look at that. <laughs> it's at Kevin. Yay. Um, so anyway, yes, we won. So, woo. Yes. Uh, so we are now, I think, um, I think we're five for six. Let's see. Uh, Warlog. Yeah. So there we go. So there. Um, and that's almost the exact same score as the one we lost. Huh? Didn't even realize that. Okay. Um, I'll donate to Lufar fan after the video because I need to build this army for this video. Um, so what are we going to do? We are actually going to upgrade the Town Hall 7. Now, just a second before everyone types a comment. Think Noodles, why you rush? You rusher, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me explain the reason that I'm going to upgrade now. It takes six days. Uh, that's why. Um, so, uh, as you guys can see, this guy is going to be done in four days. Uh, this guy's going to be done in one day. Um, and then I have a free builder right now, which is going to go to my town hall. And then this guy's going to be done in two days. So as you guys can see, I've got at least a four day period. Well, I've got a four day period at least with three builders and I've got about a day and a half with four builders. So I've only got one two nope sorry one two um three four resource collectors that need to be upgraded and those each take three days so that'll take up two of the builders for um three days each so six days which is the length of this it's fine and then of course uh, I have this last barracks to upgrade. This one's almost upgraded. It's almost level eight. This is the last one I have to upgrade. And that's all I have to upgrade. I just have the, the four resource collectors and this barracks. So I decided, you know what? I am going to upgrade because I got stuck in a situation last time when I upgraded Town Hall 6. Um, about two days into the four day upgrade, I had maxed out my storage and I had free builders, but I had nothing to spend to spend it on. I, I had upgraded everything, including my walls. I had no money where I had all this money and nothing to spend it on. And I don't want to get stuck in that situation again. So I'm going to continue upgrading my walls. So when I hit TH7 or Town Hall 7, I, I don't know. I never know how to say that because it's the same number of syllables, but people abbreviate it when they type it because, you know, it's a lot shorter than typing that out. But saying it is the same. Anyway, um... So when I do finally get there, everything will be upgraded. This will be at Town Hall 8. These collectors will be at level 10. And um, what was the last one? Yeah, and, and this guy will be done too. So everything will be fully... Oh, and my walls will all be level 6 walls. Now, the other thing that I've seen a lot in the comments is people saying, uh, how do you get so many resources? Or, um, or you're cheating or something like that, or you're hacking. And I'll show you guys how I get so many resources. Um, well, these are the attacks on me. But look, when you guys raid, look for the right bases. Look, 103,000 gold and 100,000 elixir, 117,000 and 37,000. Look at this one, 337,000 gold. And I mean, it's pretty easy. I mean, he's got level 10 uh, gold mines out there. He's got a pretty full storage. So 
you know, just go in, get the storage, and, uh, and you know, just surround it and grab all the resources you can. And it's pretty easy. I mean, I didn't even have to get really very far. I mean, I got kind of far into his base, but I really didn't need to to get most of the resources. Um, and I even got stars out of it, even though I didn't really need them. All I wanted was the resources. But that's how you get them. And that's how I've been getting them. I mean, look at, um, I, I think I had one pretty bad failure, but uh, uh, yeah, this one wasn't very good. 22,000, not so good. 185,000 or something. And this was a huge failure. I got wrecked in the, uh, the 1,100 gold. I think it was, I don't remember what his base was. Let's look. Um, I think he was, yeah, I should have known better. Um, <laughs> Town Hall 8. Yeah, I, I'm surprised that I was able to, because I thought that you were only like T8, T8, Town Hall 6 usually is only in the same league as Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 5, but I, I guess that was wrong. So anyway, um, uh, okay, so we are going to get our last bit of gold. So let's do, well, what I was talking about, and that is, um, oh, look, <laughs> first one here. We, well, see, now this one I would say is, is now nah, you don't want to go after this one because um, I could probably, let's see, what's under construction here? Um, clan castle. No, I'm not going to go for this one because he's got his resource collectors inside the walls. Um, I'd rather be outside. I don't want to have to break walls to get to the resources. So I skip over those when I'm farming like this. I want to find something that's, uh, here we go. 111,000. Uh, a lot of it is okay, but he's got pretty, eh, let's see anything under construction. Nah, this one's still not worth it, guys. Um, no. Ah, okay, here we go. This one's good. 155,000, and as you guys can see, look very closely at these gold mines here. You see how there's gold next to the mine cart in that little spot there? That means that those resource collectors are full and ready, and also you can see the elixir collectors as well. You guys probably know all this. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to the wizard tower. So I'm gonna send a giant. And this is usually my strategy here. This is what I usually do. Um, send one, then send a few, then send a wall breaker right behind. And usually they can get in. Come on, there we go. And then I'll go ahead and put a healing spell right there. And then go for the resources over this way. Um, while, well, I don't know if the, um, if the giants will continue to distract. Yeah, they are. So you see how the giants are drawing the fire away from my barbarians? Uh, because the cannon and the archer tower have already targeted them, targeted them, and they won't even bother me. So there we go. Oh, we got our achievement right there, and we should easily get enough gold to um, to get what we needed. Now I I I am not gonna use my clan castle because I've got a level three dragon in it. So so I'm holding back on that until I really need it. But it looks like that I'm not gonna have really much trouble with this base. Now I, I usually do roll with two healing spells just in case but i mean this was easy enough for us to get what we needed out of it without rolling with the two healing spells um uh but but it is a really good thing to have when you've got the giants coming in and you know they're in the middle of like three mortars and two wizard towers and you're able to just throw down uh, a couple of healing spells and man i really did not need to put down this many troops Jeez. <laughs> oh, well, it was worth it because of what we got out of it, right? I mean, we got uh, 155,000 gold, 90,000 elixir plus the bonus, and we got trophies out of it, and we got an achievement. Woo! 10 more gems, and look at that, 1.3 million gold. I'm not rushing, guys. I promise that all these things will be upgraded. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a common, like, almost an insult on Clash of Clans. Uh, to call someone um, a rusher, uh, I, I think. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm not... Oh, and the other thing, it's taking me a while. It has taken me a while to do these raids because, um, you know, I only have two two operating barracks uh, at this time. I'm, I'm really glad I didn't choose to upgrade this one because I'd only be operating with one barracks and uh, that would be really slow. But I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, exactly what you guys saw me do just then. 
um, going and finding the right base and then, you know, maybe pulling some trophies, but definitely pulling in as much gold as possible so I can build up the walls. Nearly everything um, expensive, at least, that I have left is gold based. And let's actually, let's see how many, let's see how much I need for the wall. So let me um just do this and let's do uh, remove all. So we've got how many walls? So, we, so we've got more level six than level seven. So we're about halfway. So we've got 60 walls at 75 each so that is uh, seventy five thousand each uh so that's a little over four million gold that we're gonna eh, 4.2 4.3 4 million gold that i'm gonna need um to upgrade these walls but like i said with with raids like these i mean look at this 155 000, 100 000, 117 really not that much of a stretch to do it and as soon as i have a free builder you know i can just do the walls instantly which is amazing so here we go, guys. All right. I, I, okay, I'm doing it because I, I was kind of like putting it off. I was like, should I do it or should I wait until everything's upgraded and then do it? But I don't really don't want to get stuck in a situation uh, where I'm maxed out on gold, maxed out on elixir and nothing to spend it on. And then no reason to raid. And then I can't play Clash because I got nothing to do. <sighs> Don't want that. Never want that. All right, here we go. Oh, look at all this great stuff you get. We're going to get a Barbarian King, an Elixir Drill. I think the Barbarian King, someone was telling me, it takes like, I forgot, like, a, is it 1,000 or 10,000 Dark Elixir, which supposedly takes ages to get, but totally worth it once you do. So here we go. Yay! Town Hall 7. Here I come. And I'm just going to start building up my gold again. And hopefully, hopefully I do it properly or, um, I mean, I, 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 I do enough raiding uh, so that I not only have all the walls upgraded, not only have all the barracks and all of the collectors upgraded, but I also have a million to two million gold and elixir in my pocket ready to go so I can buy all the cool stuff in five days and 23 hours. <laughs> I'm a pretty excited guy. So I guess in the next episode, um, I won't be Town Hall 7 for the war. I still will be Town Hall 6, but that's okay. And also, uh, that's another great way if you guys um, are in a clan. Great way to get gold. I, I think I said that already, but 350,000 gold uh, for, for those two attacks in the war. So it is really, really worth it. Um, if you guys can win uh, with your clan and make some good attacks, you can make some pretty good cash. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Clash of Clans. If you did, please go ahead and share it with your friends by clicking that like button. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.